Hello YouTube, this is my newest or should I say latest version of my GPS Cube. It has now the updated PCB with the onboard LiPo charging circuit and therefore, <coughs> excuse me, I could put the LiPo in between the circuit and the display and this whole thing got thinner now. Here is the older one about the display that had the charging circuit board there, the external. This is gone now. It now has the internal. And so from now on my GPS cubes are thinner. Uh, the function and everything else is the same of course. You got the USB jack over here, the connector, not the jack, button is over here, on off switch is up here. I'm indoors, it might take a little while to get a signal. Oh, there it is. Anyhow, this is the new, new GPS. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. And here is the updated clock with the same PCB. Battery again in the middle. Sandwich in between. And the RTC module and piezo buzzer. Focus, please. Is on the back. So now the clocks are thinner too. Anyhow, the software is the same, no updates on there yet. I'm working on a dimming feature for the display, as some customers requested. But I will see, because right now I'm working on my new project, the OLED track. I ordered the PCBs and have, will have a few of them ready soon. Anyhow. I guess this is going to be a short video. I'm going to use the same video on the Tindy page for the clock and GPS. So if you want to see my other videos, I'm sure you know where to find them. Anyhow, these have, of course, like I said, onboard charging now. And charging LEDs are on the back. Let me show you real quick. You have LED here while charging and when it's charged you have a blue one on the right. But that's not going to be on all of them. Mostly only the charging LED will survive because it's going to be real bright there. Anyhow, I'm using 1K resistors instead of 470 but the LEDs are still very bright. So anyhow these are it. Thanks for watching and take care.